Hi, I'm Shinny Somara, a mechanical engineer. Engineering is hugely important, and engineers are always trying to create practical solutions to challenging problems of all sizes. Have you ever heard the phrase, there's no need to reinvent the wheel? But what if reinventing the wheel was exactly what was needed to solve a problem? This folding wheel was invented by graduate student Duncan Fitzsimmons, who tried to solve the problem of bulky wheelchairs, making them much easier to transport. A great engineering design. So, would you like to find out about today's engineering challenge? What can spaghetti tell you about engineering? We'd like to challenge you to build a bridge using spaghetti, but a bridge that's strong enough to hold a bag of sugar. Bridges need to be able to distribute the weight of their load throughout their structure so they remain stable. They must be able to manage the forces of compression and tension, which means pushing and pulling so they don't buckle or break. This can be achieved using a range of shapes and components which can be seen in bridges around the world. Common structures used include beams, arches, trusses and suspension. These principal structures can be recreated on any scale and from any material, including spaghetti. Hi Andy. Hi Shinny. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So, this is your spaghetti bridge. Yes, this is our fantastic spaghetti construction. With a lot of elastic I can see there. Yeah, without that there we might see a few failures, it just tends to help reinforce our structure. It's interesting that you've bunched a few together because spaghetti is quite kind of flimsy. Yeah, so by doing this, we just find it can withstand a lot more stress before failure. Oh yeah, it's a lot harder to break. Exactly. A good exactly. tip there. Yes. I see that there are a few slanted components. Is that important for your design? Yeah, absolutely. Now these components are called trusses, and what these help to do is distribute the load uh, when you place um, a force onto the top of this bridge. It transfers that load down throughout the structure, which stops it to fail. So how might you use that design feature for other things in engineering? Well, these kind of reinforcement beams can be used in a range of products. For example, here we have a Dyson part which is reinforced with these plastic diagonal trusses and these just help strengthen up our handle. So Andy, I think we should test it. Yes, absolutely. We've got our bag of sugar right here, so let's give it a go. Oh, success! Yes, I yes. think it's quite effectively distributed that load. Can we add another bag of sugar or just push it in some way? Well, let's not get too ambitious with this one, but how about we check out the next table who are trying something a little bit different? I think I'll do that. Yes. Thanks, well Thank done. Thank you very much. Hi, Andy. Hi, Shinny. Nice to meet you. You too. Wow, this is impressive. Thank you. It's very distinctive, these curved lines. Is that important? Yeah, it's very important. So we've used the traditional arch structure to try and distribute the weight across the bridge. OK, so when you've got weight hanging down here, equal and opposite reactions of forces are going along these triangular lines. So should we test it? Yeah, let's do it. So if I give you that... Thank you. You can put it on each end. Are you ready? Right on the edge. Oh, oh no, not done so well there, has it? Well, <laughs> it's past the challenge, two bags. That's true, yeah, and you know, we've had a failure, but as engineers, we learn from failure. Oh, well, it looks beautiful. Thank you, but I think you should see what they've done over on this table. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, well done. Thanks. Hi, Robin. Hi, Shinny. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This looks amazing. Is this really spaghetti? Yes, it is, um, but we've basically taken inspiration from the Golden Gate Bridge. So the Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge, and as you can see here, we've used suspensions. This has allowed us to make the span of the bridge a lot longer because these suspensions hold the bridge up in the middle as well. Right, I think we should test it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we put the first two on. So we're going for three bags, ultimately. Yeah, so one up from the last one, and hopefully okay. it works. All right, let's try this out. Okay, that's two. Okay, here's the third. There we go. Yes! Wow, excellent. Isn't it amazing how far you can take engineering? Yeah, definitely. We always want to be pushing the boundaries and just see where things can take us. So are you ready to build your very own spaghetti bridge? 
we've created some useful instructions for you. Just go to our website and download the challenge card. Once you've proved that your spaghetti bridge can hold a bag of sugar, take a picture of it and share it with us. Go on, get downloading now. We can't wait to see what you come up with.